All right, so there's this Discord channel that I've made for biology students. You're going to get a link to that in the description. And there is also another channel where I'm posting videos, where, which are basically vlogs and sit down videos like this, where I am talking about uh, different tips and strategies for students and I'm making study with me vlogs and all that. So the channel is called CSIR Digital Diary. You are going to get a link to that as well in the description. Do check it out and let's get on with the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Akash and over in this channel, I make videos about biology and different tutorials from different domains of biology. So this particular video, this is not going to be a biology tutorial. It is going to be, you know, uh, something that I've learned. Uh, I'm going to share something that I've learned, which completely changed my perspective when I'm studying or when I'm tackling my subject. So there is this uh, particular trend in uh, students that whenever you're reading something, whenever you're uh, studying something, you need to take notes. You need to take notes, whether it be handwritten or typed, it does not matter. You need to take notes, you need to summarize, highlight stuff from the book or the material that you're studying. And that on the long run is supposed to give you you know, supposed to give you a list of important things that you have already memorized or already have learned during, uh, you know, your study sessions. But this is sort of an illusion. This is not the case. I mean, um, all the evidence that are there out there in the world that are done by reputed uh, psychologists and uh, different uh, great personnels they always say that rereading, summarizing and highlighting these three fall at the bottom of, you know, if you make a list of um, all the study techniques that you can follow. I mean, at the top, there is the best ones and at the bottom, there are the worst ones. So these three fall at the bottom, rereading, summarizing and highlighting. So you know, these are not at all effective because that creates an illusion that you're studying, you are taking notes and you're going to memorize stuff, but that is not the case. Now, what you actually need to do is something which is called active recall and spaced repetition. And I've already made uh, a video about uh, this active recall and spaced repetition. You can uh, go there and watch it. It is going to be popping out uh, somewhere on the top or it is going to be uh, linked in the description. So active recall and spaced repetition. Now with active recall and spaced repetition, you need to incorporate something which is which is uh, questioning yourself, which is the basic fundamental of active recall. And uh, do not make notes while you're studying, make questions, right? So when you're making questions, when you're coming to your same topic the next day or, you know, a couple of days later, what you can do, you can look at those questions and first uh, try to solve them and try to uh, recall what you have learned. So when you're testing yourself, even before you study, that sort of uh, forces you to rack your brain and bring all the information that you've studied uh, in the front of your brain. And this is the most effective study technique that is out there in the world and nothing can beat this. So whenever you're asking questions to yourself, whenever you're making questions, First, you reduce that time of taking notes. Second, you are not in that illusion that you are um, you're memorizing stuff just by writing stuff down and uh, you know rereading stuff. So it is not at all effective to reread something uh, which you have already studied. But before reading, you can ask yourself these questions that you have made during your previous session and only go through those parts which you have uh, not answered correctly during your testing yourself so this this technique i have been following this and i have seen a lot of my friends follow and get results i mean this is by far the most effective like i said i mean uh, nothing can top this 
so yeah of course you can uh, make notes if you want but uh, according to me that is not going to help you in the long run that is not going to develop a long term memory but of course if you are trying to recall something very uh, you know recall something very difficult you can just sort of uh, handwrite it and uh, that can give you a picture of whether you can whether you have recalled it correctly or not other than that i would not suggest anyone to take notes but yeah when you're in a class when you're doing your classes in university or colleges Uh, during a class there it is a good habit to write pointers but not whatever the lecturer is saying so you can just make points of whatever is being taught so that you, when you go back uh, when you go back uh, to your home and study the things that your educator was saying you know you can uh, get i mean you can elaborate on those short one liners and you can get the stuff from the internet or from the book So yeah that was it about this video so if you like the video do give it a thumbs up and uh, comment down below if you want to see this kind of video more often so i'm going to make this kind of video uh, i mean i will try to make this kind of video more often and do share with someone who would need to watch it and i'm going to see you in the next one until then bye bye